Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, first and foremost, before I start my video, I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the continued support. Thank you for all of the likes and thank you for all of the subscriptions. Um, I've had a couple people ask me what is going to be the name of your channel. Uh, and before when I first started, I just put it under my name, Lauren, with my last initial B. I have thought of a channel name, so I'm in the process of um, creating a new channel. I'll probably have to transfer all the videos over. We'll see how that goes. Like I said before, I'm still a novice to YouTube. So for now, my channel is going to be called For the Love Of. Um, I thought it was a cute name since I'm doing candle reviews, body care reviews, all that. So that's why you guys did see a change on the uh, title if you're subscribed to me. That's why the name changed on there. So um, I just wanted to put that out there in case anyone was wondering why that changed on that. So today's video for you, I'm going to dive into my kind of part two of um, a second Bath and Body Works haul. I mentioned in my last video of my two candle reviews that I bought a few things, a few other extra things. This will probably be my last purchase um, at Bath and Body Works SAS. I think this was round three for me, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So I wanted to keep the candle and home fragrance separate from like the body care. So I'm going to share with you what I got. And actually, let's see, I used a, I used, I think a 10 off 40 or a 10 off 30 coupon I can't remember which when I purchased all these items um, and I'm gonna read off to you guys the price points I paid because I know I love getting things on a good deal and at a good price point so I always like to share that I think it's kind of fun to see um, how low you can get the prices on some things so first and foremost diving right into it I got a Moonlit Path uh, Ultra Shea Body Cream. This is original. I think these go for 13. It's 8 ounces. I got this for let's see I think I got this for like three bucks. Yeah, I got it for, oh, that was my candle. I got a candle too on this purchase. I just didn't include it in the video. Uh, I got a, what did I get? I don't know what this coating means. It was a pineapple type candle. It was for like summery kind of one, but I already had one in my collection. Uh, so I didn't want to go over that one again. Um, 324, so 324, can't beat it. Moonlit Path Body Cream, and then I also got the Coordinating Moonlit Path Sugar Scrub. I think this one was like a little bit more like four bucks with the coupon and the 75% off. So both of these came up 75% off, plus that 10 off coupon dropped the price point down a little bit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Moonlit Path. Uh, my mom absolutely loves it though. I think it's a pretty fragrance. Uh, I wouldn't use it in body care. For me, it's a little too light. Um, but I do think it would make a pretty home fragrance scent. If I were to use Moonlit Path, I would use it in my bedroom just because it's a lavender type scent. I did also snag, speaking of home fragrance, the two-pack Moonlit Path Wallflowers. I don't think they carry the wallflowers in two packs at Bath and Body Works year round. It's only during the semi-annual. So I got this one for such a good steal. I think I paid $2.45 for this, which is insane because there's two of them in there. They're normally $12.50. So you can usually make out pretty good. Um, wow, I probably should have gotten more bulbs for that price point, but you know, that's okay. I got it for my mom. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Moonlit Path, let me read you the notes. It's not on the wallflowers, but, okay, so the notes include for Moonlit Path, white jasmine, blue violet, sheer lavender, lily of the valley, and soft musk. For Moonlit Path, I can, to me, it's almost a powdery, um, but in a nice way, like a light powdery lavender scent with maybe a hint of lily. I, I can't really smell violet. I don't know what violets smell like, um, but definitely that. And then it says jasmine. To me, it's more of the lavender lily of the valley and like a soft musk. It's a really pretty fragrance. It's a very cozy fragrance. I would use it in the home fragrance if I were to use it, but I got those for my mom. I just thought they were such a good deal. And then moving right along, this is the reason I wanted to film this video, were these ones. So this collection is called Kate's on Main. I think they just launched it for semi-annual. I have never seen this collection before. I don't know if it's from like years past or they just brought it back. But look at how cute this bottle is. It's so, so cute. I love that it has the pump and I just 
I just think the packaging, the little wording, and it just kind of reminds me of the old school Bath and Body Works, like the the Heartland type theme when everything was like so cute and country chic and quaint. So this is the Lemon Pomegranate Body Cream. It retails at $12.50. I think I got these for $4.91, so not bad. Um, I fell in love with not only the packaging, but oh, this smells so good. I love it so much. It smells like um, like limoncello or like a lemon cream scent with a tartness of pomegranate. The scent notes include blend of lemon cream, red pomegranates, iced raspberries with white woods. I don't smell any sort of woodsy musky scent at all. It's to me it's just a predominantly lemon cream with like that tartness of a effervescent -y pomegranate. It's so pretty and it's so cute. Um, they were all out of the shower gel. Typically I'm not one of those people that get super bummed out if you know a store or whatever doesn't have the matching coordinating whatever it may be with it. Um, but I was really bummed out that they don't have the shower gel in this one. They were all out of the creams in this. They were all out of the shower gels. They had a ton of fragrance mist sprays, but I don't use the fragrance mist sprays from Bath & Body Works that much. Um, I have several of them, but I just find that they don't last that long. Um, the longevity of wearing them, to me, on, on my body, my chemistry, it just doesn't stay. Um, I do have two other perfumes that I wear mostly, um, concentrated perfumes, so I don't use the body uh, fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works, so I wouldn't have bought those, but I would have bought a shower gel if they would have had it, but they didn't. So, you know, what can you do? If that's the worst of my problems, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'll take that. So um, that one's awesome, awesome though. So the other one I got and the packaging on this, you guys, is just, I can't get over it. It's so stinking cute. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. This is Apple Blossom and Lavender. This one, now I like the lemon one better than this. This one's pretty as well. Um, the notes include hand-picked bouquet of apple blossoms, fresh cut lavender, jasmine petals, and passion fruit. I don't smell jasmine. I don't smell passion fruit. To me, this smells like beautiful day. Bath and Body Works beautiful day. It's in that blue packaging. Um, it was green, but now it's blue. Um, and it just smells like a tart green apple. Um, to me, this smells like if you took beautiful day, that tart green apple and mix it with a little bit of lavender. That's what you would get from this. So uh, I got this primarily because the packaging was just absolutely darling. It's purple. I'm actually going to keep it right here. I've been using it on my nightstand. So I snagged that. So super, super cute. I did grab, I just can't get over the packaging, the apple blossom and lavender coordinating shower gel as well, just because it was on sale and I'm a sucker for absolutely darling packaging and I was running low on shower gel. So I grabbed it. I do wish that they would have had this lemon cream one. Um, in shower gel I would have bought it I actually wound up buying three of these and then the two of those ones so I know if I didn't stock up on it I would be super bummed out because I'm sure it will never come back again you know how Bath and Body Works is with things so if you guys are a fan of like the lemon cello fragrance um, or any of those citrusy ones with a little bit of sweetness you would really 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 enjoy this lemon pomegranate cream I have no idea how much longer these are gonna be at um, Bath and Body Works I think it was maybe a mini collection that they're trying to push because um, I've never seen it before so if you like it I would check it out before they're gone they might be online too I, I don't know and then if you like beautiful day from Bath and Body Works you'll love this apple blossom lavender don't let the lavender throw you um, I wish it had more lavender in it, but if you like Beautiful Day, this does not have that much lavender in it to where you would notice. And it's just in a cute little packaging. It's so darling. So um, that's it for the haul today, you guys. I just wanted to include it because it was fun and I just love the packaging on those and I wanted to share that with you guys. So again, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I do have one more video I'm gonna try to put out as soon as I can. I'm gonna try my best to try to film it tomorrow and maybe try to get it up midweek. I do have an Ulta haul I'm gonna be doing for you. I bought a couple new products at Ulta, um, a new cosmetic line that I had never tried until recently, and I fell in love with it, so I wound up getting a couple more items today when I was out shopping, so I really, really wanna share that with you guys. So give me some time, hopefully I'll have it up by mid next week. So um, if you guys have tried any of these, comment down below. 
Have you guys gotten any goodies from Bath & Body Works SAS? What are your favorites? Have you found any good ones or is your store kind of picked through? Um, I know when I went, it was a little bit picked through. So, you know, what can you do? So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.